The bubbles coming out of this cow's painful hoof lead to an extremely satisfying hoof trim. You can even see the fluid trapped through the translucent hoof horn. The hoof capsule of a cow's foot is incredibly tough stuff. Think of the hoof capsule itself, as in the hoof you can see, as your shoe. Well, the cow's foot is within that shoe, and the hoof capsule's job is to protect the foot within. If you were from Holland or Belgium, you would actually refer to the hoof capsule as the horny shoe. This incredibly tough structure is made from keratin, the exact same keratin that makes up our toenails, our fingernails, and even our hair. A cow is an incredible creature and it synthesizes this keratin from the protein it consumes on a daily basis and builds these incredibly strong shoes. But sometimes, as fantastic as they are, they do fail. And this is one of those times. This cow has been putting too much weight through this area of her hoof, leading to this rather graphic problem. The added weight has caused a problem within her hoof, leading to a sterile abscess. That abscess has created a cavity full of fluid, and that fluid has created a massive amount of pressure, causing pain and suffering to the cow above this hoof. It's my job as a hoof trimmer to remove that pain and pressure by removing the weight from that area. But a problem like this requires a massive amount of delicacy, as you're all just about to see. Despite being inside, it's incredibly windy here in southwest Scotland today, so you can hear the wind noise on our mics. You can also see that a hole is beginning to emerge towards the toe of this foot. I know she's going to need a block, and I want that block to be in position as quickly as possible. So prepare that inner claw, ready for the glue to attach the block. And while I've got the grinder in my hand, I also reduce the size of the affected, sore, painful one on the outside. Right. With the block in position, it's time to strip away, like layers of an onion, the layers of hoof horn covering up this cavity. You can actually see the fluid bubbling away in the hole. There is still pressure underneath, and as you're all just about to see, this hoof horn is translucent, so we'll be able to see the fluid for ourselves, which is trapped beneath these layers of hoof horn. If you look closely here, you can actually see the cavity through the hoof horn itself, meaning that all of this needs to be removed. Pressing my finger like this against the hoof horn helps me to understand how far the cavity reaches, but in this case you can actually see the fluid moving around. At this stage in the trim, when I'm actually there working with my knife, I don't know how this hoof will end up. At any moment I can make a sudden and cataclysmic error. Welcome to the danger zone. This is the part of a cow's hoof, which if you make any mistake whatsoever, or if she has a defect there, she really cannot hide from. This is an incredibly sore portion of the hoof, and unfortunately for this cow, it seems to be where the problem is focused. I work my way around her hoof, picking and choosing what feels like the natural neck slice of the knife. When I pull at this part on her heel, you can actually see it all pulling away from the corium beneath. Virtually all of this hoof horn 
needs to come off. But so does that inner portion, the portion closest to the block, and that is the part I'm dreading most. I didn't expect this part of her hoof to be opening up so much, and now I'm worried that it tracks all the way up throughout her heel. But luckily for us and for the cow, this small swipe of the knife alleviates my fears. I've been avoiding trimming away that loose hoof horn towards the inner portion of her hoof, but time is running out, and I can't avoid it any longer. Luckily, these knives are like razors right now, so the horn comes away nice and easily. But that doesn't mean that the danger is over. I can tell the rest of that hoof horn is still loose because I'm able to get my fingernail behind the edge of it. Meaning, you guessed it, that it needs to come off. This is the axial wall of a cow's hoof. And the axial wall is notoriously hard to fix if there's anything wrong. If I make one small mistake here, she will be lame because of that mistake. Forget about the problem she's already got. I will have made a brand new issue for her. We just have one or two more swipes of the knife to complete before we can move on with shortening that toe and treating this foot topically for the best possible outcome. Oh, wrong one. After giving this hoof a quick wash off, I attack her toe with my trusty nippers. I'm not using my grinder here because the toe area of this hoof in particular is very delicate and any vibration that I put through it is going to cause her pain and discomfort. Just a couple more swipes of the knife and we'll almost, but not quite, be done with this foot. How good does that? As I was saying, how good does that look? Look how soft this tissue is though. If we were to leave this cow's foot like this and everything went perfectly smoothly, I've no doubt that she would heal completely. But cows live in environments which are not conducive to having fantastic feet, so we need to harden up these outer layers of dermis or hoof horn so that they can withstand the environments which they're living in. If you've made it this far, folks, please think about subscribing and joining this fantastic community of people that we know as the Herd. <laughs>